you know, SMU, I think uh, Chad's done a really good job there. I mean, much improved uh, overall in their team. Um, you know, had a great rivalry battle here Friday night. Like you said, marathon game. I was proud of our guys and and how hard they kept uh, battling and working through. thought it was a good overall team win. Uh, at times, I thought we played really well defensively. Uh, offensively, I think we put some things together, put points on the board, uh, did the things we had to do to win the football game. So, uh, proud of our football team and the way they are continuing to get better each and every week and continuing to battle uh, and knowing that, you know, we're never out of a game, continuing to, to work together and, and find ways to win. And, and that, to me, is the sign of a good football team. Obviously, got to go down to uh, Houston this weekend. Uh, very, very talented football team. Had a uh, obviously a, a tough game up there with the weather conditions and being on the road. And I know Navy's a tough place to play and Ken does a great job up there, but uh, know how talented they are. Greg, you know, nobody's been able to stop him. Uh, he's a guy that with the ball in his hands is a really special player, and they've got a lot of good players around him. Uh, defensively, playing the way they've been playing, very aggressive. Uh, they get after you, give you a lot of different looks, keep you kind of guessing what they're going to do. And so uh, we've got our hands full, but our guys are excited to go down and, and uh, have a chance to, to get us a win on the road, big conference win. And so... Uh, anytime you go down to Houston, you know it's a tough place to play, uh, but our guys will be ready and, and uh, welcoming the opportunity to do it. Let's take questions for Coach Montgomery, please. Hit star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. You can star one for questions, please. Coach, I'll throw the first one out if I may. In, in a game like you had uh, you know, against SMU when it's you know, four and a half hours and, and starts and stops and injuries and, and replay reviews, and, and is it tough for an offense like yours which really – um, goes fast and prides itself on moving fast to kind of get in the flow that you want to get on, or is, it, is there a, is it, does it matter either way? Yeah, you know, all those things kind of factor into it. Obviously, we're an up-tempo team, and we like to play that way, and when you have those types of stoppages, it's hard to get your rhythm and things going, and so uh, I thought our guys continue to battle and stay focused through it. Uh, it does affect you, but uh, it's nothing that, that we haven't faced before in games, and so our guys just got to stay mentally into it and understand when we get back on the ball, we got to be ready to roll. Great. You can take the next question, please. All right. We'll go to John Altavilla with the Hartford Current. Coach Montgomery, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I, uh, good. I have a little off-topic question to ask you. I was hoping uh, you, you might have a response. Uh, do, you, do you have any time during your busy schedule to keep up with the presidential uh, situation and the race for president? Well, I mean, it is a crazy time of year for us. Um, you know, obviously, when it involves our country, you know, we, we're we're trying to to get as much information as we can about it. You know, I'm not sitting down at night watching the debates because I'm not home yet. But uh, you know, trying to read up on it and uh, see where we're at. The reason I'm asking you is that uh, last week uh, Donald Trump said some very controversial things about women, and then it tried to explain it off by using the term locker room conversation or a locker room talk and I'm wondering as a leader of men and dealing with that environment whether hearing something like that um, bothers you or if you think it reinforces a negative stereotype about football in the locker room well definitely don't like the stereotype that goes along with that I mean I can promise you here in our in our program and in our locker rooms uh, we're talking to young men about being good husbands and good fathers and being good leaders in our community and that's what we're trying to instill in our football team trying to instill in our young men and and I think my my staff uh, are great examples of men of character and so uh, if we can do that and try to influence our community in that way we probably we would want to spend a more positive influence that way than trying to quote unquote locker room talk. 